So in this video, I'm gonna share with you 10 Figma plugins that I think every designer should know about. I'll be honest with you. For the past year, I've been using Figma not only for UI UX work, but also to replace Photoshop and Illustrator because those plugins are the reason that is even possible. Designer community has built some insanely powerful ones that add in a whole new dimension what Figma can do. So let's go through my favorite ones and starting with the ones I use daily for motion design. So with this plugin, you can literally animate anything. Here I got the example of the weather widget for the Apple Watch. And let me run that plugin. So we're gonna generate the animation and now AI is gonna scan our design in Figma, give us uh, four different options for animation. So this plugin works great for whole screens or like the part of the screens. I'm using it a lot for animating illustrations, especially like empty states, this kind of stuff. But also it is a great way to enhance your portfolio with animated prototypes. So now our plugin gave us uh, different options for animation. We can edit further by clicking the edit animation, which is a uh, Lottie Lab software is quite similar to After Effects, but way more simpler. Or we can download our animation if we have it with that example as a Lottie, GIF, MP4 or insert into Figma. If you like me and you screenshot a lot of websites and trying to place a long landing page from different pieces of screenshots, you have to try this one. It's called HTML to design and you can just say the URL you want to try import and it's going to be all in there in Figma. And the best thing is this plugin not only import the whole page into Figma, but everything is editable with the exact values as this website was designed. So you can study this page, break down the design system, use it as a reference and just learn from it. Next plugin I'm using a lot is the plugin with the free stock images. It's called Lumi. We're gonna use that plugin to showcase another plugin. So there is loads of free images or premium images to download with very high quality and it's much easier than going into first party websites. You can drag and drop them directly in Figma. With that, you can also reframe. So for example, if you want a more wider option or more taller option or just square option, you can remove the background or you can make it black and white. There is lots of option to make the image perfect. But if you want to be more playful with your images, the next plugin is for you. So the next plugin is called Displays. It lets you put the pattern effects or a glass effects onto images. It's just some cool effects that you couldn't do otherwise in Figma without this plugin. And they would be perfect if you're doing like poster design. And now we have the beautiful Shadows plugin. It's perfect for like floating elements, like this floating button to add extra depth. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna select our frame and then run the beautiful shadows. And now we can adjust where the shadow is coming from, how deep you want a shadow and the color of the shadow. I use it a lot because it's much faster than doing this manually. On to the next plugin and I'm gonna use the exact same button. So while we're designing, we should always make sure that our buttons meet in the accessibility requirement. For example, if the color is passing the contrast check. We can do that by clicking our color and just checking if the contrast is met or not, adjusting our designs, that's that's okay. But if we're using design system, so we have our variables, which are the preset. I have, have my text white and then I have violet 400 for background. I cannot do that. I don't have that option. So in that case scenario, I like to use the plugin, which is called contrast. And this is the way I'm testing on variables. So if now I'm going to change that to other one, we're going to pass the contrast check and we can check all the contrast ratio. Another plugin to enhance your images is called Lithair. And yeah, you can create some cool effects. Again, posters, blogs, thumbnails. It's amazing and saving loads of time. I love playing with the effect. Speaking of which, the next plugin is called Effect. And this plugin, it's giving you the 2D or 3D animated backgrounds. Uh, it's giving me the vibe of the Revolut mobile app when you have the main UI and at the top is the wavy gradient background. So if you want to have similar designs, that's the plugin to go. 
next plugin is perfect if you're working as a web designer and you're looking for some custom easy illustrations to enhance any website. So this plugin is creating like geometric shapes, which you can of course adjust to your needs. It's perfect for like hero backgrounds, portfolio sites, maybe even the subtle textures behind the blocks. It's super cool. So if you have a white space on design and you want to fill it up, you can use that plugin. It's gonna ice, it's gonna add a really nice effect. This plugin lets you convert images into halftone patterns. It's perfect if you want to create retro style background for like landing pages or add in some unique textures to your posters or just to play with it. And the last but not least is the plugin that lets you animate your typography. So it's gonna enhance your prototypes with even more animations. So here are my favorite Figma plugins in 2025. What I love about them is that they are not only fun to play with, they actually solve everyday designer problems, whether it's accessibility, prototyping, or just speeding up the workflow. Let me know in the comments what are your favorite plugins. If you found this useful, leave a like, subscribe, and see you in the next one. Bye!